welcome back to another one thanks to everyone who has recently joined the channel and thanks to all the existing followers on the channel also today's video i have been asked to go and recover a range rover evo which the dial is not lifting up so the customer can't drive away something along them lines um, as we know there are multiple ways to get the dial to pop up on the Range Rover Evoque but I did say look you know I'm just a recovery I'll recover it straight to the garage which will give us a job um, I did say regards to access what is it like it's on some like library car park I says would we get a large recovery truck in there he says he doesn't think so he says the smaller vehicle the better so we're going out in the world's first which is the transit century the 4.6 tonner um, we're going to be using the in the ditch towing dollies which were by tow truck trader and get it lifted up and get it gone so i've got my cameras at the ready to try and get some footage because obviously i post on youtube but some of you in the comments who always say i had that out of the tilt inside i would have done that like that i've been in recovery 100 years mate i'd have that in five minutes okay well get video in it Get it on your YouTube channel and let everybody else criticise it you because trust me, I don't care. Like, I'll post anything, it doesn't matter. But as long as you guys are watching the videos, that's kind of all that matters really. So yeah, thanks for the uh, great support for both sides, the ones that love it and the ones that hate it. But it is what it is. So we're going out now. It's gonna be a video from start to finish of getting in the car park and then obviously getting all the toe and dolly set up and then getting it out and then that's that, that'll be a wrap. If you like what you see on the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. If you don't like anything on the channel, thanks for watching. Um, see you when we get there. Mr. GDB over and out. Okay, let's go. Uh, well, stuck in yeah, I know, stuck in parts. So, what I'm going to do at the minute, because obviously I've got to move it out. I've got these towing dollies that will go on the back end, but I can't set it up with how it's against the curb. So, what I'll do, I'm going to put my spec down, get the front end nosed up, and then I'll just nudge it forward a little bit, and then I'll be able to set my dollies up for it. <coughs> That's all. No problem. Um, well, I've got some wheel skids that I can just put under to move it forward just a, a fraction, basically. Oh, keys in it, darling. <laughs> Beautiful, right? Have a look. Oh yeah, it's stuck in park, yeah, the, yeah. the dial comes up and just won't physically want to move over. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a, it's a common thing with them, like, isn't it? There's a few, yeah, there's a few. Yeah, I had it last year, once it happened last year, I was in the builder's yard. Yeah. I thought it was the terrain underneath, so right. I tried all the modes. No, but it went all right then, yeah, because yeah. when Saturday didn't it. They're lovely when they're working though, isn't they? I'll tell you what, they're nice. Uh,
Right. Could have done this with a tilt and slide, I'm not gonna lie. But it is what it is. Just gonna put these little slippies under just to get it away from the curb and then we're gonna set up the towing dolly before we knacker up the diff. Yeah. Nearly done. Nearly done. It, we're up and loaded. Like and subscribe.